there have been more and more chairs popping up with quite similar design. But unlike others, this H1 Pro ergonomic chair from Hinomi grabbed my attention with three unique features. The chair can be folded in half, the armrest can be fully lifted up, and it has a leg rest extension. So I had to try out and see if these are actually useful additions. The H1 Pro model has four color options to choose from, starting with neutral black and gray to more popping coral red and ice green. There are also two size options. The standard is ideal for most people and extra tall, as name suggests, is for taller people. The version we're reviewing here is the extra tall version. The overall look gives a very clean and polished impression. It would easily fit in any office and home alike. But at the same time, if we were to judge it only by its looks, the H1 Pro doesn't really differ that much from the rest of the mesh chairs. What makes this chair special are these little customization points that honestly I haven't seen too often. Let's dive right in and start with the features that make it stand out from the crowd. How often have you seen an office chair doing this? The frame can be folded, allowing you to easily push the chair under the table when it's not in use. It actually is quite impressive. The mechanics behind the folding itself also is straightforward and quick. Lift the armrest, press two buttons at the same time, and your chair is half the size. This feature gets a solid yes from our side. We measured the height and the lowest it can go is around 68 centimeters, which will fit under most standard desks. Or even better, if you have a sit-stand desk, but you don't have much space in the room, you can easily fold the chair and push it under, so it doesn't take up any space. Also, while we're on the subject of standing and trying to be healthy, Hinomi has a pretty nifty accessory for that. It is their ergonomic motorpeda balance plate. With the chair nicely tucked away under the desk, I can combine standing and exercise at the same time. This is the first time we're trying out something like this, so we'll probably need to use it for a bit longer to be able to really tell if there's any difference in the way that I feel. But one thing I noticed straight away, standing is not as boring anymore. I like to fidget, so this balance plate gives some purpose for my legs while my brain is actively engaged in work. Plus, it can also be transformed into a footrest and used while sitting. I wish the color options were a bit more toned down, as currently it doesn't really feel that premium. Okay, let's get back to H1 chair and the other two features that impressed me the most. Also, if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. We already mentioned this feature while talking about the foldability, but let me explain it a bit more. It is the flip 5D armrest, meaning that the armrest can be fully flipped backwards. This feature could be used for space saving purposes when the chair is not in use, or may know some people who would really be interested in it for the ability to slide under the table fully while working. I know it's not the most ergonomic way of working, but if you look at my editor, you'll start to accept any type of sitting as normal. Also, this design allows for an easily cross-legged sitting. So this feature overall gets a loud yes from my editor. Next is the leg rest extension. It's pretty masterfully hidden, so if you didn't know about it, you may have not even guessed it's there. This feature will most definitely activate your lazy mode. It's great for lounging around and binging show after show, apart from the minor headrest issue, but we'll get into that in a moment. The leg rest itself feels sturdy enough even when fully extended with the chair fully reclined. However, I wish there was no gap in between. When I was initially testing it, the feature seemed to be the best invention since the light bulb. But the longer I was lounging, the more apparent it got. For ideal lounging experience, it feels natural to cross the legs. It is especially true for the ladies. So in order to avoid the massive gap in between, I needed to shift my weight to one side, which is not ideal. But to make it retractable, I suppose they had to make sacrifices somewhere. Also, since it doesn't affect the overall structure of the chair and works purely as a bonus for taking a nap or stretching out, it gets my approval as well. Apart from these fairly unique features, there are a couple more details that are worth mentioning. Mesh material feels well made. On the base of the chair, it has a place where you can rest your feet. Casters and wheelbase do feel a bit cheap and plasticky. The high adjustability is super smooth making it easy to find the right level that feels comfortable. The seat is nice and wide with adjustable depth. Sometimes the mesh feels a bit too rugged, especially if you're wearing short shorts, but it's a toss up between comfort and coolness, so the choice is yours. Lumbar support has four levels of adjustability with additional five levels of height adjustability, allowing you to fine tune it to the max. Lately, all of these lumbar supports feel a little bit too invasive for me, so I would rather opt for a pillow instead. But once again, then I'm sacrificing the breathability of the chair. Shoulder area has enough support thanks to the wider upper frame. The headrest is wide and generally comfortable. 
It can be adjusted nicely, but I wish it had an extra point of adjustability for pushing it forwards as well. Normally when I'm working, it is too far back, so I can only use it when resting. With that being said, I do want to give some bonus points for the stiff adjustment settings. Once I've found the right position, it doesn't get pushed up or down whenever I lean against it. The armrest height is pretty hard to adjust. It needs quite a bit of force to move them, but with such force it is easy to skip the step you actually want. So overall, it is a decent chair. Considering its price, I think it's most definitely comparable with the rest of the mesh chairs out there. It has some unique features that are quite specific, but for some people, they could prove to be the decided factor. If you want to check out any of the items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.